And you know, it's just a hard conversation that you have to have. Um, and I tell you, it is not worth doing the project if it cannot be done right. Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to uh, touch base with everybody. I'm actually out of town right now uh, on a uh, family vacation. We just started about a 10 day vacation. Um, I'm thrilled to have a little bit of downtime. Um, but in this video, I wanted to share with you a phone call that I just got uh, from a prospective client uh, and then share with you um, some tips and things that you can implement in your business uh, to just make sure that you're doing quality work um, for, for the people who are using your services. Okay, so I got this phone call from this guy and uh, he basically brings me up to speed on what is happening at his property. And he had had a sod installation done and uh, in essence, he's not happy at all with the work. And come to find out what had happened was um, he, he basically got low bidder. Um, it was kind of like a backyard deal and it was bad. Just from what he has said to me, I haven't seen the project, um, but it's bad. Uh, the ground wasn't prepped appropriately. Um, he said it's kind of uneven. And he said whenever the sod was installed, all the seams were just lined up perfectly. I mean, that's like 101, you know, so whoever did the job obviously didn't have experience uh, doing it. And now he's basically going to have to pay to have that work done correctly. And then furthermore, the company that came in there, they came in on his neighbor's um, property, which um, the neighbor had not given permission and tore up the neighbor's property. So there's an additional section that he is gonna be responsible for repairing. So it's kind of just turned into a big mess. Um, but that's kind of the point in this video. So look, we've all done those jobs before where we have, have underbid the work, okay? Now guys, I don't wanna go down a, a rabbit hole here, you know, of, ta of talking about doing quality work. I assume if we're, we're lawn care business owners, our goal is to obviously execute the project um, at, at, as, as good as we are able to for our clients. So we're gonna make the assumption that you're gonna be doing that. What I want to talk about is not charging enough for the job that you're doing and how that affects your quality. So again, this guy ended up going with low bidder and here's, here's what most likely happened. If you take the inexperience um, out of the equation of, of the landscaper, if you take that out, well, here's what happened. This landscaper got onto this project, he, he bid it low and then realized once he's in the middle of this project, like, holy cow, I have this materials cost. I got time in here prepping this yard. I got machine rentals and, and all these costs are starting to pile up. And at that moment, you start rushing through the job and you're not executing the job the way it's supposed to be done. Look, leave me a comment and let me know down there if you've done that, because we all have like, um, and I'm still guilty occasionally of, of, of having to fight that urge, because if you underbid work, and, and again, we've all done it, you have, you have this mindset of, oh my gosh, I'm not making any money on this project. You're not even enjoying being there and you just start rushing through the project. Contrast that with if you are executing a project and you know you're getting paid really well for it, your focus is there. At least mine is, man, I'm happy to be there. Um, my morale is high, all the guys that are working with me. It's just there is a different energy whenever you know that you're being paid appropriately uh, for a job. So I wanna encourage you, at, first off, is just make sure that you are you are getting top dollar and that you are really, really confident in your, in your pricing. And I want to elaborate on, on not charging top dollar for your client. If, if you are trying to cut corners on a project um, simply to satisfy a client, even if it is what the client has asked for, okay? And, and you know it's not the correct way to do it, but, but you come to an agreement that you, this is the way the project is gonna be completed in an effort to be more economical and save money. Well, well, what happens is, is ultimately, even though you execute that job exactly like the client had wanted, the end product, the client on the inside, they know it doesn't look good, even though that's what they wanted and your name is now stuck to that. Guys, I think we have all done that at, at some point, you know, where we have just kind of, instead of sticking to our guns and, and using our experience and kind of leading the client in the correct direction to, to do these projects, we start making concessions to the client in an effort just to get the job, to get our price down. And, and I get it, you know, people are price sensitive, but ultimately our name is on these projects. And I've just found that when, whenever you are you know you're making good money on the project, the project comes out better, you're happy, the client's happy, and it's our job to educate the client and push them um, to getting the type of, of work done that they ultimately need on the property. So guys, whenever I get back in town, I will be going and taking care of that project um, for this client, and I'm, I'm going to actually physically put eyes on it, 
But um, from what he has said, it's, it's kind of a mess over there right now. And again, I just have to believe that the individual who, who got in the situation, not the client, but the landscaper, um, he, he probably underbid the job, got into it, and then just realized, man, I'm not really making any money. I just want to encourage you, don't let yourself fall into that trap. Even if you're an experienced guy and you feel good about your pricing, there's going to come those times whenever a client wants you to kind of just do things a little bit differently, you know, to, to, to meet to meet their um, budget. And, and sometimes, man, you just have to make that call and say, right, you know, I'm sorry, Mr. and Ms. Client, but look, this is the way this project needs to be done. I have to grade this. If I don't grade this thing appropriately and put in topsoil where it needs to be, it's just not going to look right. And, you know, it's just a hard conversation that you have to have. Um, and I tell you, it is not worth doing the project if it cannot be done right. Guys, let me know down in the comment section if there's any uh, project you've had like that before where you did a job the way the client wanted it to be done instead of the way that you knew you wanted it to be done and the results were not what they should have been. Y'all take care.